Hi there, David from Udisc here to walk you through Map Manager, which will improve the player experience for every golfer who comes out to your course, giving them the confidence they're playing the correct layout with more accurate wayfaring than ever before, including advanced capabilities that will allow you to match the tee signage on the course perfectly with accurate dog legs, custom distances, and pars. Everything in Map Manager is editable from your computer. I'm logged in on udisc.com right now on my computer to demonstrate, and that's how I recommend you set up Map Manager initially. Once you've completed the Map Manager page, updating or creating new layouts is quicker than ever, and it's truly a one-and-done setup. Let's go ahead and launch right in. For navigation around Map Manager, you can see the numbers for each hole at the bottom of the page, as well as an overview that will allow you to see the whole course map. You can also zoom using the pinch on your computer or the plus minus buttons right here in the upper right. Don't miss this actions menu, which will allow you to edit map settings as well as do things like adding new holes. If you, for example, install a new hole 19 or you add a new tee position or target, that little actions menu is your friend. Let's go ahead and start on hole one where you can see all of the positions from tee pads, dog legs, and the target have already been pulled in from any previously mapped layouts historically in UDISC. All we need is a little updated labeling scheme, and that's what these little red dots represent, that something needs review. So let's tap on the tee pad and hit edit where you can see that red dot is following us. For labeling, I recommend that you parallel exactly how things are phrased on your course. So if you call things the short T, medium T, long T on your course, then that's how you should label them in UDISC. Similarly, for baskets, if you have an A position, B position, that's how you should label them in UDISC. On this course, we have red, white, and yellow T's, and that's how I've labeled all these T's on hole one, which no longer needs review, as you can see with no more red dot there. So let's move to the next uh, hole here, where you can see a short T. Now in this case, this is considered both the yellow and red T on hole two. And uh, you can see multiple labels are perfectly acceptable when uh, a T pad or a basket is shared in a few different configurations. That's the white T for hole two, and we can go ahead and move right along. You can see how fast this really is. I'm going to go ahead and edit this, which is the yellow and white shared T for hole three. The red T is really short. You just have to associate it with the correct hole. And then you can see there's a long basket position. If it's no longer in place, you don't use that basket anymore, then instead of confirming, you can just go ahead and delete. Or you can label it the long target, for example, if that's what you call it out there on the course. Now, the status for a basket, active versus inactive, refers to whether or not that target is playable right now. Is the basket in the ground, or is it just a position where you may move a basket to at other times? If it's not playable, there's no actual physical basket in the ground, then it's considered inactive. And that's the difference between active versus inactive. This little arrow will allow you to advance to the next hole, and you can see on this hole, hole four, there's also a little path, which you can see right here, which combines hole four and hole eight. It's a really long 422 foot hole that goes from the regular hole four tee pad to the hole eight basket. Now, if that's used for certain tournaments, you can go ahead and confirm the path, and you might wanna name it um, T4 to hole eight. You can associate it with hole four, and now you'll be able to use this whenever you're creating that tournament specific layout. If you'd like to override a custom distance, this is where you do it. Tap on the path and then add in the custom distance. Whatever you have on the T sign is what we recommend. And that way, UDISC will again match your T signs perfectly. You can also fine-tune these positions from your phone later on or even using GPS coordinates. And that's how I recommend getting started on Map Manager. Once you've cleared out all the red review dots and your map looks good, you've completed the whole Map Manager page. 
Hit the blue Submit Changes button in the upper right and tell us what you've changed. Make sure to check out the help resources, including tutorials on all of the course managed tools at help.udisc.com. And you can also feel free to reach out to our team at help at udisc.com and we'll be happy to help with any questions. Thanks again.